Vivian came up to me and said, Nancy, thank you for your work. Thank you for teaching us how to teach children to cook and to eat healthy. I have lost 27 pounds since you were here last, and my daughter, she's lost 12. And we're changing our eating habits, we're exercising more, and it's because of your inspiration. Wellness into Schools is an organization that promotes healthier eating habits, environmental awareness, and fitness as a way of life for New York City public school systems. We are actually at the annual benefit here in Tribeca, where more than 400 guests have gathered along with celebrity chefs to learn and support healthier lifestyles. Uh, we work with Wellness into Schools. We're a partner with one of the schools. We are the leading school and health supportive eating so we belong here uh, we work with children and help them improve their diets at epicurean management we really believe in fostering the next generation we think that if change is going to come it's going to come from the kids and we want to give them all the resources that we can well, we've been a sponsor both uh, of the organization as well as an individual school uh, pretty much since wellness in the school's inception currently we're at ps11 in chelsea working with kids in the cafeteria and through their programming to just show them that cooking from scratch and eating food that you really know where it comes from just leads to a healthier lifestyle. WITS in the house, I mean, come on. I actually have a little girl who's six, who's in kindergarten now, her name is Amanda, and we are doing whatever we can to make sure she gets better school lunches. And I have a little boy who's three, and hopefully by the time he is in PS40, where my little daughter goes to school, we will have the program in effect. We're trying to do everything we can to try to build a better food system by uh, sourcing food from the best possible places and also farming ourselves upstate in the Catskills. And uh, there's no better way to help support a better food system than try to get better food in uh, public schools in New York City and, and anywhere. So we're really proud to be here and help support the cause. We were able to catch up with the founders, Nancy Easton and Chef Bill Telepan at PS53. So our larger mission is to combat childhood obesity. And we do that. We work in schools, not because schools are the root of the problem, but we feel that schools can be a solution and should be a solution. Certainly schools should set a good example for health for kids because this is where kids spend the majority of their days. Um, but we know this is a cultural problem. I mean, kids are coming off the street with soda and chips, and this is what they're learning and what they're seeing in, in our society. So we find that schools are a place to, to teach, and it's, it's, we have a captive audience of kids who can learn and their families. So we do our work in schools, and we use the lunch as one example of a healthy meal. But it's really more than that one example. It's the education. It's, it's all the questions that are asked around this meal. And... Um, so we have a Cook for Kids program, and we have the Coach for Kids program, and we have the Green for Kids program. And through these three programs, we're inspiring healthy eating. And we hope that the programs are certainly one piece of their day with coaches and chefs in the schools, but we hope that these programs become a piece of their life and that they're changing habits because of what they're learning from us. It becomes very pivotal that as a principal, I assist my students um, in gaining a better knowledge about eating habits and that I assist them in attaining that goal. One of the reasons being that many of our children are not naturally propelled towards eating healthy foods. Many of the food items that are made available to them in the community um, are food items that are full of sugar or salt or cholesterol and they're not taking the time to read the labels and to understand the nutritional impact that the consumption of such foods have on them personally. As a result of our collaboration with Wellness in the School, we have, as a school community, been able to enhance our overall knowledge and education about healthy food. Potato has the most nutrients. It has potassium. It has vitamin B6 and vitamin C. So don't just eat the inside of your baked potato. Eat the whole thing. I mean, it's and, and that's one of the things people don't realize. It's like you could put broccoli out in front of your kid's plate when you're serving dinner, and they may not touch it. But you always got to continue to do that. You always got to make it available for them. I always believe that as parents, we should not be creating, we shouldn't be short order cooks. We should, you know, we're going to make one meal for everybody to enjoy, and, and this, everybody should enjoy it together. But I think it just takes time. And, and you know, my daughter, uh, was reluctant to eat cauliflower and we put it on her plate every time and by the 16th time she now is crazy about it and really likes it and looks forward to it to dinner so I think it's just one of those things where you know Pete the perception of children are that they don't want to eat this stuff 
But in truth is once they start eating it, they really like it. The salad bars are a great example. I mean, there, I was, uh, there was one school where I rolled in this brand new salad bar and we used to put the, uh, the, the vegetables all on the hotel pans on top of ice. And when I brought those pans and put them onto the salad bar, next thing I know, I was surrounded by like 20 kids. And they all, and not just to see what I was doing, they were like, are you done, mister? I want to have some salad. So it was great. So you know that they do it. And that's one way to do it. Because, you know, salads are fun. I mean, they're crunchy. They're, you know, they're, they're, you can pick things up and dip them into salads, and, you know, like salad dressings and stuff. So those, that was one way to get them involved. So it's like, so they're eating the broccoli on a salad bar. Why not try it hot with a little garlic or in your pasta or something like that? So it takes time. Was there any reluctance from the students about eating vegetables in the cafeteria? Well, we had started uh, a few years prior to this with the salad bar. So, and they always had fresh fruit. Um, so a little bit, I mean, there's been some interesting vegetables such as green beans, uh, some, uh, some things that have been a little bit of a hard sell, but for the most part, the children are really interested in trying it. Uh, and especially since we have, through Wellness in the Schools, labs and cafe days, which makes eating a celebration. What's the favorite food to eat so far? Um, I like um, the pizza, the chicken, and um, on Tuesday for Trailers Tuesday. That, that's all. How about you, Isaiah? I like the pizza, the chicken, and the and the sandwich, the peanut butter jelly. And Kelly, I have a question for you. Before this wellness in the school programs, did you like eating vegetables? Um, not really. But when I finally learned how to eat vegetables and things, I got really excited for it, so I started eating it more. What has this program done for you? Um, like, um, this program has done for me that some of the foods that I like to eat. Um, when I'm at home and um, they give actually healthier food now. It's very important to encourage the youth of today to have healthier eating habits and live healthier lifestyles. Support Wellness in the Schools. Visit wellnessintheschools.org.